What's good, YouTube? Running with 1980. Um, told you guys that I was going to show you a, a method I use to keep creases out of shoes. I figured I would use the Air Force One because it's notorious for creasing. So um, I'll show you these. These are a pair of Air Force Ones I've had for a few years now. Um, I've worn these, like I told you in another video, at least like 30 times at least. Uh, if you can see, there's no creasing in the shoe here at all. Um, and there's minimal in uh, the right one. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's minimal in the... Uh, in the right and that's because of the way I walk with my right foot um, it's just but you see here there's not much crease in here either you know what I'm saying but um I'll explain this how this works uh, like I said I was going to describe it to you guys in a video but unless I show you you'll think I'm trolling so um, here's how a kid showed me this um, like t over 10 years ago and it's been working for me ever since it's kind of the same principle as force fields except um, it's not as uncomfortable as force fields and it gives a little more movement what you want to do, and also depending on your shoe size and your foot and all that and how it works is how this is going to work, you know. But um, you'll t start with a, like a grocery bag, Walmart bag, whatever, like this. And you'll take this bag and what you're going to do is you're going to split it into two equal halves. See? Now you'll take this here right here. You'll flatten it out like this. You'll fold this back like this. You'll fold it again. You'll fold it again to where it's like this right here. You're going to fold it in one time and in another time like this to where now you have like what's about the size of a pack of cigarettes. Now when you take this part here that comes under here, when you take your shoe on, when you're putting it on, you're going to lay this on top of your, your toes, right, in the front. And when you slide your shoe in, this is going to sit on top of your toes like this right here in the shoe. While it's in there, it uh, it, like force fields, it'll give it... Um, shape to it right but it's not as uncomfortable and hard as force fields so it doesn't bother your foot you know because it moves with the toe and it keeps the shape it keeps it from creasing it's a really simple process you know and like what I say by what I say by um, add and take away you might need two of these depending on the shoe you're wearing or you might or for your size of foot and how your toes are or whatnot but um, I promise you if you use this that way uh, you won't have creasing at all you know now what I say about that using, I've used up to a whole bag on, um, I had some LeBron uh, forces, you guys seen those, they're like, um, they're like um, uh, Houston Rockets colorway kind of, but they're patent leather, you know what I'm saying? So with patent leather you might want to use more because, to keep that shape, you know? But um, you guys that are complaining about the, uh, the 3M3s, the reflective ones, that they crease as soon as you put them on, uh, this will definitely, definitely do that. Now if you're going to use a whole bag, you fold it over like this, fold it down one time like this, come in again, and you would come down here, here, and here. Same principle. The only difference is what it does is it's going to give uh, a little more thickness. But you'll see that it'll move and it'll shape, you know what I'm saying? It's not restrictive at all, you know? It, um, you can get it in there and it'll just hold that shape and you won't have to worry about creasing anymore. And that method can last you... A pair of shoes, like I said, years and years to come, man. You know, uh, I know it seems a little, a little uh, out there, and some people might. I remember the first time my wife seen me um, with bags in my shoes. She was like, "What do you got bags in your shoes for?" So it can be a little off-putting, but I mean, it works. You know what I'm saying? For it's a it's a must for a sneakerhead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you want to have shoes that aren't creasing, or if you don't care, then don't care. But if you do care about creasing your shoes and you want to have them for years to come. Do the method. You guys seen it? Rewind it back if you need to. Any questions or any concerns, just uh, hit me below and I'll do my best to try and walk you through it. Run Wolf 1980. I love each and every one of you. Remember that. Um, more videos to come, but this is my method to prevent creasing. On it works on any shoe altogether. Later, guys. I'm out.